calling all organization enthusiasts and clutter busters. Get ready to count ingenious innovation down where necessity meets functionality and chaos is but a distant memory. In the following 20 modular DIY projects, we bring you keys to unlocking an organized utopia in your own home. From frugal to conceptual, including a modular shelf to coffin idea with a free plan, each project offers a whimsical twist and plenty of customizable potential to fit your unique needs. From Simp Home, let's begin our countdown. Number 20. Flaps and Roll-Up It's a breeze to personalize a modular shelving system by Ambivalens. Combine shelves of different sizes to suit your vibes, exactly like curating your own art gallery, but for your stuff. Here's the scoop. You can go vertical with a stellar stack of up to five shelves. If shoes are spilling out from under your closet, Flaps flips the script, pops some magnetic pins into hinge rails, and bam, those shelves hinge open at a 45-degree angle, turning any shelf into instant shoe storage. The drawback, however, is that it costs 100 plus euros and exposure to direct sunlight can cause discoloration. Alternatively, number 19, the roll-up. The Clever Flaps shelving system sets the stage for this dynamic roll-up door DIY from iBuildIt. Route a groove on each side panel matching the roller's width and depth. Attach two rollers at the door's top sides for it to roll smoothly. Fix two more rollers inside the cabinet just under the groove, spaced out from the front as much as the door's thickness. Reuse rollers from old drawer slides, and for axles, insert flathead wood screws using washers as spacers. Number 18. Modulate your own storage dream without a hassle with Playwood. Dive into DIY furniture design with Playwood, the innovative system that lets you fuse panels of any material, provided they're 16 to 20 millimeters thick. The practical connectors lock in your designs without leaving a mark, ensuring your panels live to see another project. Eager to start? Download the design files brimming with essential specs and clear-cut instructions for crafting your bespoke furniture. From chic bookshelves to custom desks, design it today and reinvent it tomorrow. Playwood makes it all possible in a few simple steps, all for two euros per connector. Number 17. A modular shelving idea replicating transit from designer Sebastian Herkner. Included materials, but not all, six 19mm wooden sticks, 40 broom holders, and eight wheels. First, assemble your pieces and mark your wall with masking tape for initial placement. Secure broom holders to boxes and walls, aligning them carefully for support. Use a plank as a straight edge to measure flush broom holder alignment before attaching. Add wheels to the bottom boxes for mobility and reinforce them with zip ties for stability. Number 16. From 18mm plywood to a Murphy bed. Start with six 9cm wide wooden boards and 18mm plywood. Carve out a 15 by 129.7cm lid and secure verticals 40cm apart for shelf space. Smooth everything with sanding. Assemble the framework tightly and mount it with a sturdy middle batten to the wall. Add the box mattress and top it with a dual-purpose shelf 15 centimeters from the top, centered on the front. Precisely attach hinges at the bed bottom for a seamless fold. Finally, add the lid with its own fittings to complete your wall feature bed. Number 15. A modular interlocking shelf system with bent woods. Say hello to the L shelf by Objet Optimisé. No screws or glue needed. This birch or walnut shelf features a clever bentwood design. Connect each L module seamlessly, allowing for endless configurations. From bookshelf to wall display, the L is the versatile cornerstone of stylish storage. One thing, it comes with a price tag that will make you feel sorry for looking at the video. Keep watching, however, to find affordable options for the idea. Number 14. A modulatable sloped ceiling shelving. To begin, gather vertical shelf supports, shelf brackets, wood or melamine board, 3 inch wood screws, a stud finder, a level, and a drill. Paint the wall, optional, and locate studs with a stud finder. If there aren't any studs, use weight rated hollow wall anchors. Mount brackets straight onto studs or anchors. Install shelf brackets into standards, secure with the tap of a hammer. Cut and place shelves, securing them with shelf clips or grooves. Done! 
Number 13. A mobile style IVAR for the dynamic side of you. Elevate your IVAR shelving with this swift hack. Start by constructing the side pieces, then bolt on three 500 by 40 mm pine boards using two 50 mm screws each for added base support. Fix six 50 mm casters to the underside for mobility. Assemble the rest of the unit as per IKEA's guide. Paint and screw on six Norbin knobs and two Flaglovic handles, pre drilling holes for ease. For safety, attach the unit to the wall with a bracket that allows for movement. Number 12. Adjustable Plywood Shelving System with Slot Joint Grab 3 quarter inch Russian birch apple ply and we'll craft this into an 8 foot by 5 foot storage to life. You'll drop $493.88 on the ply, snag brass brackets for $11.10, and nab that satin polyurethane finish with all the sanding essentials for another $45, hitting a cool $550. Before you dive in, caliper check that ply's exact size for snug as a bug slot joints. Give each piece a 220 and 320 grit sand down with some hand sanding finesse for the edges. Go pro with a rag applied poly finish for a smooth drip free surface. Once everything's bone dry, slot those pieces together and stand back to admire your stunning soaring shelf. Number 11, a modulate able narrow shelving project. Grab 3 quarter inch birch plywood for the box structure and 1 8 inch for the bottoms. Cut mitered edges for a clean look. For ease and modularity, opt for French cleats, 45 degree angled supports for easy lift off action. Use construction adhesive and a 16 gauge nail gun or finishing nails for simplicity to assemble. Creativity bonus. Add L-shaped shells for a custom charging station or a quick metal strip mod to attach a new smartwatch holder. Number 10. Dumb Lumber Underbed Storage Start by cutting 1x8 wood for the sides and back. Adjust the height for bed frame clearance. Customize the width to your liking, then sand and stain the wood. Attach the sides and back by using 8x1.25 inch screws. Next, add taller front boards with 1x4s and 1x2s. Insert floorboards made from 1x12s supported by 1x2s. For the lid, use only 1x12s and attach them with 1x2s. Mount 4-inch T-hinges for easy opening and attach lid supports to prevent slamming. Secure casters for smooth movement. Finally, add handles for convenience. Number 9. A wood pallet bed with corner brackets. Measure your mattress, then snag double the wood pallets, 40 by 48 inches each, for a two-tier height. Sand them smooth, splash on some stain or paint, and let them dry. For extra glam and sturdiness, a lacquer finish works wonders. Arrange pallets for the base, tweak as needed, and connect with flat brackets using 1.5-inch screws. Assemble the headboard pallets with flat brackets, attach them to the base with corner brackets, and there you have it. Optional style hack. Add a bed skirt and a slipcover to switch from simple to chic. Number 8. Shelf for a Life, a modular plan for the afterlife. Craft your life story into furniture with William Warren's Shelves for Life building plan. After the blueprint, proceed with cutting and assembling different shelf parts. As the wood gains character with each scuff and stain, you already mark your character with the brass plate hidden beneath the promising future inscription. When it's time to meet the great author in the sky, dismantle your shelves and reassemble them into your custom coffin as per Warren's detailed and free plans. Your memories live on, etched into the wood, your final journey marked by a personal touch to the very end. Number 7. The A Spot Discover Spot, where each furniture set speaks the language of unity with its signature A shape, cleverly marrying form, function, and modular ability. But remember, your home's narrative isn't one size fits all. Use Spot as the canvas, then individualize each room with colors, textures, and accents. Think of Spot as design continuity, a classic piece that can stand alone or weave through your living spaces, enhancing rather than overpowering. Your home, your story. Let Spot be the thread, not the tapestry, and fashion a living space that celebrates diversity within harmony. Number 6. Vincent's Built-in Bed Project Here's how it goes. Your bed isn't just for catching Z's. 
Flanked by compartments with nifty flaps, it's a secret stash spot for all those extra bits and bobs. Slide open the bed's extra-long drawers underneath to pack away blankets or those holiday sweaters. Plus, those stairs leading to your loft aren't just for climbs. They're sneaky hidey holes for bulky stuff built right into each step. And the radiator? It's now part of the vibe with a sleek birch plywood covered with white HPL. Durable and low maintenance with smart slots to keep the heat flowing. Number 5. How to Modulate Your Own Polycarbonate Cabinet You'll begin with the star of the show, Opal Polycarbonate. Choose the triple wall variety for strength, pairing it with robust 3 quarter inch thick oak to add that touch of organic elegance. No need for heavy machinery, just a trusty circular saw with a finish blade. Cut out perfect panels for your 6 foot 5 inch cabinet. But why stop there when you can elevate? Envision this. Strategically placed LED lights behind or tracing the edges of the polycarbonate, casting an otherworldly aura as they play with shadows and light through each drilled hole. Number 4. Launch into a DIY mid-century modern modular shelving unit. Assemble your toolkit. It's time for some laser precision and a touch of wood conditioner. Pick up small screws and an eclectic mix of IKEA brackets. Once you've planned and taped off your shelf space, bring out the wood. Whether you cut it yourself or enlist help, ensure those pieces fit snugly. With the calm guidance of your laser level, mount the wood strips before giving those brackets a fresh spray paint glow. Fix them in and then gracefully slide each shelf into place. Number 3. Plus Shelf Dive into making the Plus Shelf a DIY modular storage system. Take a single 4 by 8 foot piece of 3 quarter inch apple ply and cut it into cubes using a saw set at a 45 degree angle. Whip up connectors on a 3D printer, dye them for a splash of color, and ensure they fit snugly into drilled holes with a custom jig. Bond with biscuits and glue, assemble and snap the pluses into place for a modular marvel. If they sag, a dot of super glue offers a quick fix. Number 2. The Column Meet The Column, your home's new epic showstopper. Custom made originally by Kevin Hughes, this cedar cabinet, 240 by 35 by 35 centimeters, pairs with a solid Carrara marble pedestal, 45 by 35 by 35 centimeters, by John Indebrake. The cabinet boasts multi directional drawers for your keepsakes, hovering above or seamlessly uniting with the pedestal. It's functional, it's chic, and it transforms your cherished items into a personal exhibit. Follow the link to gaze at the full angles of the column. Lastly, number one, a 20 meter squared modular furniture revolution. In a compact 215 square foot space, architect Angel Rico demonstrates how to accommodate a family of three and entertain overnight guests. A modular furniture unit ingeniously converts a kitchen, a Murphy bed, and a bookcase serve as a room divider. Above the bathroom, a loft bed is set up for visitors, while the parents acquire a sofa bed to save space and maintain flexibility. In conclusion, if you follow Rico's example to maximize utility in tight quarters, you too can benefit from modular furniture plants and revolutionize your small space living, blending their functional form and function in every available fold and corner. That's it. See you later for more organization hacks like this one. And subscribe to keep our future videos delivered directly to your email.